어. 마이디 딜리시스. So, yeah guys, we got the first ever vlog on my channel. I'm drinking a monster. I'm getting hyped up, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we got the first ever vlog on my channel. I already said that, but who cares? Okay, you see the title. I'm going to be showing y'all what it takes to care for all the freaking reptiles and invertebrates and all that good stuff that I have and pretty much the daily routine that I have to go through to make sure that all my pets are thriving in captivity. So, yeah, stay tuned. Grab the popcorn, grab all that good stuff, and let's get into this freaking video. First up, we got the moon crab. Let's get it, bro. I, I know I told y'all that I was going to hit you with the rest of the care guide for the Halloween moon crab for Monday's video, but... I straight capped, guys. I, I don't know what to tell you. I folded like a goddamn omelet. I ain't trying to do that today, bro. It's going to take multiple days for me to perfect how the hell I want to record that video. So I'm just going to hit y'all with the vlog. As y'all can see, I gave my freaking moon crab some bananas last night. And it looked like I only ate one of the freaking banana things. So as you can see, there's a bunch of holes all throughout the substrate. That is a sign that the crab has been burrowing and has been settling into its new home perfectly. But yeah, as you can see, that water is looking hella, hella nasty. So I'm going to have to switch that out. Same with the salt water. Let me do that real quick. And then we'll do on. We'll go. I don't even. Late, guys. Jesus Christ. How can I end this freaking part of a video? Stop it. Get some help. Okay, guys. I think it's time that I tell you about a serious problem that I have. Okay. I have a serious problem. This is a really important part of the segment Um, to this portion of the video i just want to tell you i'm a freaking weirdo bro i i got horrible adhd for some reason why are we still here just to suffer um i like to multitask even though it takes me longer to do something but yeah it's just something i can't change about myself so I'm not actually gonna wash the dishes right now. What I like to do is I like to go around, collect all the freaking water dishes from all the reptile things that need to get swapped out and then wash them all at once and then place them back all together and then water all the freaking reptiles dishes. Yeah, water all their dishes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the right saying. But yeah, that's how I like to do things. And yeah, I'm gonna do it like that because there ain't no time for phony baloney type stuff. All right, white. So in here, we got the prey mantis, as y'all can see. And this is my female prey mantis. She's been laid, this freaking egg sac. And yeah, she's slowly slowing down. She's about to die. She's about to pass away. Don't know why I didn't think it would be a good idea to have flash on, but yeah, you could really see her yellows on her wings. And I don't think her wings are even supposed to be like that. When she starts eating it, I'll let go of the roach because this roach is still big enough and strong enough. And she doesn't have that much of a grip. As y'all can see, she's barely holding the legs. So the roach can still probably escape. Hold up. Oh my gosh. I literally almost smashed her. Yeah, I don't even know what I was trying to show there. I'm really dumb. Let's just move on to something else before I accidentally kill my freaking pet. Okay, now I gotta t check up on my Vietnamese giant centipede setup. You know, I gotta make sure he doesn't poop in his water. He's lately been doing that pretty often. Gotta make sure there's no mold. You know what I'm saying? I do this at least every two days and here this is where i keep my desert tiger centipede and yeah it looks like it's not hungry because usually when it's hungry it'll be chilling just on the top i still like to check on him every single day just because i really do love this guy and yeah so yeah this guy doesn't need to have anything done to him so already things are looking like it's pretty easy but yeah we still got a lot more animals bro okay so you guys already know if you watched my isopod video that I was talking about my Vietnam forest scorpion. But yeah, I rehomed it in this little place right here. And it's looking a little bit dry because it has pretty big air holes, as y'all can see. And I'm pretty sure the scorpion's in this little cave right there. So yeah, this is the flu flammer, guys. You know what I'm saying? It's a good workout. Gotta pump that junk. You just get to spraying, you know what I'm saying? You spray all around. You want to get that junk nice and moist because this is a tropical species of scorpion. But now let's get a little roach for this full so we could eat and grow. Oh my God, I've been recording. 
Yo, so this freaking roach, um, I want to just like mark it real quick because I don't want there to be a risk of mold, even though I just said there's no risk of mold. But yeah, so I like to kill the roach and then the scorpion will find it and then scavenge on it. So yeah. This fool's a straight up psychopath. Here's the POV, or not the POV, the opposite of the POV, but I just like drop it in right there. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, I just, okay. So in here we got my California forest, no. California bark scorpion. Yeah, it had a freaking brain fart right there. Brain farts. They happen to everyone. But yeah, this is my California bark scorpion. I believe it to be pregnant again because it's been getting hella fat and it hasn't really been eating too much. It'll still eat, but it's been more shy. And usually that's how they are when they're, you know, holding pre precious cargo like kids. And I still haven't been able to sell all the freaking kids that I have of her right now. All these right here are all of her kids that I've been trying to sell, bruh. And she's probably gonna lay more. You're freaking lying, dude. This is, okay. Like, this is already one, two, three, three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. 12, 18, 24. Wait, did I forget 15? Brain farts. They happen to everyone. God damn it. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 24, 27, 28, 29. I have 29 of these goddamn things. Why ain't anyone buying them for me? Yeah, guys, we're still on the invertebrates part of this freaking video. But in here, this is pretty much where I have my parody mix. I did a video on a catch and keep, and I pretty much collected most of these isopods. I also collected them off camera too before that. But yeah, we also found this cool little millipede and some other stuff. But yeah, there's mostly a bunch of freaking isopods in here, dude. Like, just look at all those goddamn isopods. And I just like to check in on here making sure that there's no mold that's been growing or anything like that and everything's doing good and i actually want to find the millipede for y'all real quick oh here's a better shot of the millipede actually you can see right there more of its body it's a pretty decent size but it's still a little baby but yeah i don't have to do anything to this tank i might just add a little bit of gel so yeah we grab some of this stuff right here this the good stuff and we just sprinkle it all across life you know what i'm saying just just give it some healthy amounts of goddamn diet. This is isopod diet. Um, It also works for millipedes, all that good stuff. So yeah, this is going to be a good... This is just really nutritious. And now we got my Australian white tree frog that we got to feed. Um, I am going to give this girl or guy, I don't know the gender, a little tank upgrade. But I haven't been able to just because I've been waiting to sell a few reptiles. I know I should have waited to buy this full from the freaking reptile shop before... I mean, I should have sold the reptiles that I need to sell before buying this girl, but I just, I just had to, bruh. Okay, and she's been growing fast, like most amphibians do, um, especially in their younger ages of life. And yeah, today I actually do not need to dust her thing with calcium supplements and all that, just because I did it yesterday. And with amphibians, you want to do it every other day or every other feeding. So yeah, let's feed this girl real quick and move on to something else. Come on, damn. You got them guts on your face, cuh. She's usually pooping in her water dish. Oh, jeez. Freaking frog. Because we got a lot more stuff to do. That was so goddamn cute. That was so goddamn cute. I love you, girl. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Get in that little hole. You know? Just keep on penetrating the hole with the goddamn sprayer. And you better not jump. I swear to God. Yo, chill. Chill. Okay. I don't want to hold you for too long. Yeah, get back on there, okay? Okay, so now I got to check up on my tarantulas, you know, see if they're all doing pretty good. And this guy seems to be doing pretty good. Um, I don't think he'll eat for us just because that abdomen is looking a little bit too fat. But yeah, we'll still try. So this looks like a pretty decent sized meal. Let's drop it in right here. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's way more defensive. Okay, I need to fish this goddamn roach out now. Congratulations, you played yourself. Oh, hell no. Okay, now we got my Costa Rican striped knee. Finally got the roach out of the other enclosure for my baby tarantula, or aka sling. But yeah, this girl, she's not even food interested. I just want to check up on her. And I got to switch out her water dish real quick because, yeah, she's been dumping substrate into that bay like crazy. So I got to do that real quick. And then, yeah, I think that's it for the tarantulas. So now what I like to do, I like to take over, I like to go over to my hissing cockroach tank 
And yeah, it's looking really nasty right now because I'm not able to get some springtails back in here. When I did a full substrate change, I lost all the springtails that I had because I forgot to take a little piece of the old substrate and put it into the new substrate. So yeah, I thought I'd be able to just go to my reptile shop, buy some goddamn springtails, but sadly I wasn't able to because they ran out. Yeah, COVID vibes, but <coughs> yeah, I was just going to make sure everything's doing good in here. All of the little nymphs are growing just amazingly. And yeah, it looks like the hissing cockroaches are pregnant again. Yeah, that's the beginning of an egg sac. So she's going to develop that egg sac a little further more. And then finally suck that thing back into her body. And then give a pseudo form of live birth. And yeah, that'll be pretty freaking cool to see. I've never actually been able to like catch it on camera. But some one of these days, bro. One of these days, I'll be able to do that for y'all. Anyways, guys, now that I'm done with all the invertebrates on this shelf in my room, you know, I now have to move on to the reptiles. Yeah, this is West Side Reptiles, not West Side Bugs, you know, but yeah. Don't even get me started on the reptiles, honey. I'm stupid. I think that's the end of the video. Late. Late! Nah, but for real, I'm really dumb, okay? I was feeding my alligator lizards, the ones in the 20 gallon, and their lights swish or whatever is kind of like far to reach for. So sometimes I just lift up the lid or whatever with the light still on it and they move it down. But I wasn't really paying attention to what I do, what I was doing. So the light fell and it broke the light bulb. So now I need to go spend money and get them a light bulb. <laughs> And also what I need to do, I need to get the heat, another heat mat for my rosy boa because the other one broke. So yeah, I gotta spend freaking money. So I can't drive, you know what I'm saying? I could kind of drive, but I kind of suck at it, you know? And no one like really wants to like teach me because I'm a bad learner, but they just don't understand that like, I'm not gonna crash, okay? Like I promise, it just looks like I'm gonna crash in the passenger side, but I promise I will not crash. I'm like kind of sure, but yeah, I need to go skate all the way down to goddamn Petco of all kind. They're so overpriced, bro, and drop it like fifty dollars, bro. A whole fifty dollars on some goddamn just a heat mat and a goddamn a goddamn freaking hallucinogen hallucinogen. I don't know. I just gotta spend money. Let's get it, guys. All right, what, what type of fish should I be rocking? You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking the blue dickies. You know what I mean? And I need something that's going to match with the goddamn blue dickies, bro. Okay, we got this shirt. Eh, that's that's pretty decent. This one, this one's also a banger. But it is kind of hot outside. And this one's a little bit, this one's a little bit thick. So, uh, you know what? You know what will be fire? I'll go with the Fuji. Seriousness, I'm just going to rock this. You know what I'm saying? The Hill Figure Athletic Gear straight came up on this i like to multitask like i already said in this video so right before i leave i'm gonna bust down you know what i'm saying do some goddamn pull-ups real quick and what i like to do because i just started getting into pull-ups um that's not like my one of my main workouts but every single time that i walk through my door's room i bust down and just do 20 pull-ups bro and yeah i'm kind of dumb so i'm always forgetting stuff and like i'm like what am i doing so sometimes i'll literally walk into my room like four times within like five minutes so yeah, bro, let's do that real quick. All right, let's get it, guys, real quick. Ugh, this freaking monster is going to make me throw up. Six and a half hours later. Okay, guys, so I have just got home from skating. You know what I'm saying? Got the hallucinogen light bulb, the freaking nighttime lamp that I need just in case one of mine break because I've had one for a long time and I just want to have it on standby. And then I got the end of the tank heater. But I low-key skated pretty far. I mean, not really that far. I was just like also practicing and stuff. So I'm going to take a good 30 minute break. You know what I'm saying? Watch some YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah, we'll get back to this video because I'm trying to show you guys everything that I do, but it's important to take breaks when you're doing something because you don't want to burn yourself out. And yeah, I just wanted to put that in there. Just because.
Hell yeah. Damn, bro, I ain't got no nails. Bro, my teeth still weren't able to do it, bro. That did the job. Oh my. Okay, well I gotta wash the freaking water dish for my Kenyan sand boa. The water dish for some of the alligator lizards, the smaller alligator lizards that I have. That junk looking nasty. And then I gotta do it for these alligator lizards. Three alligator lizards in there. One chilling right there. And I just need to grab this water dish, dump it out real quick. And yeah. And last but not least, the baby rosy boa water dish. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. As you guys can see, I look hella tired today because today was freaking grind, bro. I just realized the lighting's horrible, but dude, grindtastic, my guy. Uh, Y'all see my morning routine, bro. My morning routine ends at 3.15. Oh my god! Oh hell no. But yeah guys, I'm drained. I still gotta edit this video. Um, let me know if y'all wanna see an afternoon routine because yeah, that one's the morning routine's more for like the invertebrates and all that good stuff, right? And the afternoon the afternoon <sighs> and the afternoon routine is more for like my reptiles, my snakes, stuff like that, my leopard geckos. All that good stuff, my Samboa, all that type of stuff. So if you guys enjoy this video, like it. And if it gets enough likes, I'll freaking do a part two with the afternoon routine. Just because today was a freaking... I'm sweating, bro. I'm sweating. I right, stay tuned for Wednesday's video. I got y'all with that crab stuff. You know what I'm saying? The Halloween moon crab. And yeah, I think that's the end of the video. Late. And last but not least, y'all really thought I forgot about the shoutouts. I can't even be energetic right now, dude. I'm freaking caffeine crashing right now, and I want to die. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, we got Masonic Fun, Masonic Fun, Super Suck 69, and Leo Castro, you know what I'm saying? Chris the Goat, his favorite YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? Because Chris's are the goat, and Noodles Reptiles. Chewing on a bottle cap. So yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Lates. Lates.